G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at calculations involving speed, where we're gonna be working out either how fast something has traveled in kilometers per hour or miles per hour, given the time and distance it has traveled, or also the associated calculations that go along with these. Uh, distance calculations, time calculations, you know, how far, how long something's taken to travel. So, we'll start with some basics, and I'll show you a few tricks along the way. So, I'm gonna show you, first off, how most people identify speed and the calculation involving speed, how you can really easily remember the formula for remembering how speed goes. So, as you drive along on a road, you have one of these guys here. It's a car, and it's a really good car. It's a nice red car. It's going really fast down the road. In fact, as you drive along, it tells you how fast you should be going because we see these signs here, okay? See this, and it tells you this car should be going 60. The speed is equal to 60. Okay, so 60 watts. Is this 60, uh, do you know this? Because most people are fairly okay at telling me what 60 means at this stage. In Australia, this car would be going at 60 kilometers per hour. Or perhaps if you're in the US, you would be going 60 miles per hour. A little bit faster. So, as you can see here, this tells us how to work out speed. Both of these types of units, kilometers per hour or miles per hour, have the same sort of format. You have on the top here, kilometers or miles, that is the distance. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is get the distance, and we're gonna divide that by, well, both of these in hours, this is the distance divided by the time. So whether or not it's kilometers per hour or miles per hour, you can easily see that speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. Let's have a look at an example here. I'll get rid of these guys here, and we'll have a look at an example you know, that shows how this works. So say a car is traveling along and the distance here that it's traveled is equal to, let's say, 130 kilometers. And the time it's taken, well, it's taken five hours. How fast has it traveled? Well, we can work this out using this formula that speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. Let's do that. So speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. This is equal to 130 kilometers divided by the time, which is five hours. Okay, so 130 kilometers divided by five hours, 130 divided by five, this is equal to 26. And as you can see, this is kilometers per hour. Kilometers per hour. And there you have it, we've worked out the speed. So that is a really easy formula to remember, right? So what about some associated calculations that you have with these? Say we wanted to work out the distance something had traveled, given the speed and the time, or the time something's taken to travel a distance at a certain speed. Well, we can work this out really easy. There's a really easy way of remembering these formulas too. Now the way that you can easily remember these formulas is as follows. You draw yourself up a triangle like this. So we've got a nice equilateral triangle, and I'm gonna put this T division in it. Okay, nice and simple. Now, what I'm going to draw in here is this formula that speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. And see how I write this in. Down the bottom on the left here, we have the speed is equal to the distance divided by the time. All right, everything's in there. So now what we could do is we could now go through and work out any of these calculations, whether it be distance or time or speed, without having to do a whole bunch of uh, moving of things around. I'm gonna show you how this works. So say, for instance, we wanted to work out the time something had taken to travel. The time would be equal to, so if I put my thumb over this point right here, where it says time right here, I put my thumb right over this point here, you can see that it's equal to the distance divided by the speed. So let's have a look at an example using this. Say we know that a car has traveled a distance of 330 miles and it's gone at a speed of 60 miles per hour. Okay, so how long did it take? What is the time taken here? So we can work this out fairly easy using this formula now. Time is equal to the distance over the speed. All right, so what is the distance? We have 330 miles and this is going over the top of 60 miles per hour. Now we work this out, we get the answer of 5.5. Now what's the units we're gonna use here? This is in miles, 
This is in miles per hour. We're left with hours. This is 5.5 hours. Now, just watch out. And this is what I want to show you to be careful of here. This 0.5 here, what are we talking about? Are we talking about 50 minutes or something else? And I'm going to tell you straight away, this is 5 hours and 30 minutes. It's half an hour. Please watch out with time, okay? Time is out of 60 minutes. This here, 0.5, is half an hour. It's half Half an hour is 30 minutes. So just be really careful there. The decimal that quite often comes out with these time calculations doesn't tell you what the minutes are. If you want to change that, you can multiply by 60 and you'll get those minutes. 0.5 times 60, 60 minutes, would give you 30 minutes. So we'd have five hours and 30 minutes. So just be aware of that. So let's have a look at the last type of calculation here. So now let's have a look at working out distance calculations, okay? The next and the final type of calculation that we look at when we're doing velocity here. So the distance is equal to, now how are we going to work that out? Well, using our triangle, we put our thumb now over the distance part there. When we do this, you're going to see the distance is equal to the speed and it's multiplied by the time. So we can easily work out these calculations. Let me give you an example here. So we want to work out the distance traveled by an object which had moved at a speed of 100 kilometers per hour so the speed equals 100 kilometers per hour and it's taken a time of 30 minutes now i'm just going to give you a bit of a caution here straight away what you're going to notice is that we have 100 kilometers per hour and we're dealing with hours here but the time dealing with a unit of minutes these don't match up so before we do any calculation, we are going to want these guys to match up. And the way we're going to do this is we have to convert our time across here into its equivalent in hours. So 30 minutes, well, that's 30 out of 60 minutes, which is equal to 0 0.5 hours. So just watch out for that. It's something you have to do if you want to get the correct answer. So let's go through now and work out the distance traveled. We have the distance equals the speed times the time, the speed is equal to 100 kilometers per hour, and that's times 0.5 hours, okay, 100 times 0.5, the distance traveled is 50 kilometers. So there you have it, how to go through and work out speed, time, and distance calculations, as well as how to deal with uh, where we have, you know, minutes instead of hours, and how to convert those across if you need to. Anyway, I hope you like this video. If you do like the video, please remember to hit the like button and maybe subscribe. And if you really wish to support the Tech and Math channel, big shout out as usual my patrons. You can become a patron. There is a link in the description below. Anyway, thank you for watching and I hope this video helped you. I'll see you next time.